All right, so what is good, everybody? This is, of course, your boy B. Bullet RC coming at y'all again with yet another. Oh, y'all seen that title? Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get into this week's heat or oh, hype. Where we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the sneaker or streetwear world. That is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in. Or was just that basura. That I didn't want to expose you to it, but of course, listen, this week we got some people trying to compete for that world heavyweight basura champ title for this year. We got leaks, heat, rumors, big stories. Make sure you drop a like on this bit, sub up if you haven't already, and finesse the bell as well. Thrift video on the way, big pickups video on the way, early heat on the way, all that. Y'all know what we gotta do. Listen, we gotta please the algorithm God. With that out of the way, listen, it's time to get into this week's heat or hype. First things first, let's get these out the way. Of course, the Grinch Kobe's are dropping, but I want to switch it up a bit because we did have a story come out that a store in Denver, Soul Street Shoes, they're actually selling their Grinches, their reverse Grinches, without the box. All right, they dropped this little video on Instagram and it did what it needed to do. It caused some controversy, caused people to talk. And of course, this is an effort to kind of combat reselling, but I'm telling you right now, I'm not mad at it, but it really only stopping them, you know, stock X sales. That's it. <laughs> Trust me, if somebody gets this shoe with the box or not, y'all be seeing people that don't even care about their boxes no more. They gonna get these off. Pause. The shoes are instead gonna come in a Grinch themed tote. So I'm not mad at it. As someone who keeps their boxes, it would be slightly annoying, but I get it. I'm cool, I'm behind it, sure, whatever. I just need my size 12, okay? Next Saturday, the 23rd at 10 a.m. EST, we are dropping, I mean, y'all see it, y'all see me wearing it, a brand new colorway in the classic, okay, the rose foil, the OG joint. Now I already know I'm gonna be throwing some B-roll up there for the close-ups, listen, it's a premium wool and flannel, fits true to size, okay, again, dropping on the 23rd at 10 a.m. with that OG embroidery sample with the rose on the back. We ain't even dropped the picture or the release date yet, so I'm just letting y'all know, listen, next Saturday, new sample flannel, okay, you, you see it, right? This joint is dropping. Now, we also had Hidden drop these joints right here, which is the mixtape A6 GT 2160, okay, there's another 2160 we gotta talk about later too. Now, of course, I missed this joint by like five minutes, I wasn't paying attention, and they did sell out, but, it was a clean pair, the dyed feel on them, and I really like that minty green, that mint blue colorway, but unfortunately, I did not hit on these. But if you did, let me know. We also got Adidas and Kith dropping on December 25th, yes, on Christmas, another kith Miss pack of these Adidas Sambas and Clark's collab. And I'm gonna tell you right now, these joints is gone. The previous pairs was out of here, and these are gonna do the exact same thing. Everybody gonna have that Christmas bread on them. They're gonna log on to kith.com, and then the bot's gonna eat everything up. Oh, wait, what was I supposed to say? <laughs> I'm joking, but... But listen, these joints is gonna go fast. December 25th is the release date. And I do like the soul switch up on the song, but I might, if I remember, I might end up going for a parody. A quick reminder, listen, December 15th, that's Friday, okay? That's Friday, we got Blam. Both pairs of the Elite Sports is dropping. Retail on these is gonna be 155, and they're dropping at 10 a.m. So yes, these are dropping alongside the Reverse Grinches. I'm still on the fence, but I'll probably end up going for the white pair. You know, I'll try. Hopefully I can have some success, but of course, you know, the Grinch is definitely gonna be on the top of the list. We go for the Grinch first, then I come back for the Elite joints. And both colorways is actually on Nike sneakers right now. Now on the tier list video, somebody was like, yo, why did you not talk about the AE ones, the Anthony Edwards Sig? I, I forgot, I'm gonna be honest. But yes, blam, these are gonna be dropping on December 16th for a retail of 120. Not a bad retail at all, and not a bad ball shoe either. I definitely can see some of that Yeezy DNA on these for sure, but maybe, do I gotta pause that? Maybe I gotta pause that a little bit. But I had to say, out of these three colorways dropping, I do like the orange and black pair the most, and I like how they did the Adidas logo on the back of these. So for the homie that asks, there you go, that's my thoughts. They not bad, 120, not bad at all, December 16th. We got another SIG on the way as well. Now this is Blam, the Puma Scoot Zero. Now this is Scoot Henderson shoe with Puma. These are gonna be dropping on December 15th for a hundred, hundred. This is a clean ball shoe for a hundred. Very, very loud colorway with like almost this pink, orange, laser type feel. And I do like the flip on that Puma logo, that green, kind of green flame logo on these. And again, uh, you got the AEs dropping, then you got these dropping as well. Two brand new six shoes coming from Adidas and Puma. Can't be mad at either of these. Another quick reminder, listen, the JFG 990 V4s, blam, y'all see them right here, the 1998 pack. Intro, outro, and Keisha Blue. Listen, if you're trying to get these shoes, 
The raffle closes on the 15th for these. It's on Joe Fresh Goods site. Now, as far as the colorways, the Keisha Blue is the only one that's gonna be exclusive pickup only. So you're gonna have to be near Chicago for this one or just going ahead and get ready to take that road trip, okay? That's a quick reminder, December 15th, that's when it stops. All the entries stop for it. We got a new New Balance model on the way. Well, new and old. Blam, y'all see right here. This is the 1906U, which is a 1906 utility. As of right now, these should be dropping next year in 2024. And this is actually an Invincible North Hollywood and New Balance collab. This is a triple collab. And like I said, it's a new version of the 1906. You got the 1906 D, hey, the 1906R, and now the 1906U or 1906 Utility. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking about these. I still like the 1906. Either way you do it, I'm feeling these, especially the D. Another one dropping this week. December is not here to play. Blam, we got the Air Jordan 3 in this white and navy colorway. And listen, I'm gonna have to keep it a buck on this pair. This shoe right here makes me feel nothing. This is the most nothing shooting me i'm sorry this one to me just feels like a, a bs jordan 3 colorway to toss out there but they ain't as bad as those christmas twos and christmas twos is they're dead for outlet specials for sure we also got our first looks at blam this is an air jordan 2 python and these might unfortunately suffer the same fate as those christmas twos and be some outlet specials now the colorway itself is not bad and these remind me of i want to say they're called the nike air python which is literally like an air jordan 2 but it's like the nike 2 you know what i mean you, you see the image you see the resemblance i like these better than like those white and navy threes and that might be crazy to you but that's just me as of right now no release date just yet probably next year 2024 now we also had nike come out and announce a ton of 2024 drops first up we got the reverse curry dunks boom that's one next up we got the ultraman dunks boom that's another one and we got the silver surfer dunks. so that's three classic dunks on the way we also had a world tour air force one pack my favorite being the las vegas colorway i'm probably gonna need those in 11 and a half all over patent leather forces with the crazy colors Hey, you got me. But there's also two other colorways, but still my favorite, you know, that Las Vegas joint, the pink, the patent leather. Yeah, yeah. We also got three pairs of the Air Sunder Max on the way. My favorite is definitely gonna be that yellow orange gradient colorway. Now these aren't supposed to drop till next fall of 2024. They're also bringing back the Air 180, not the Air Max 180, just the Air 180, of course, with that OG feel. Nike has been doing a great job retroing or remastering basically a lot of these OG Nike models. And the Air 180 is just another one on the way. The clog posits are on their way back. Listen, the mules are in. Okay, I'm still not on the mule train, but the mules are in. And people been going crazy for them. Them Uggs, them Tasman Uggs too, trust me. You get the right mule, people going to buy it now. These clog posits though, you know, they probably gonna be next year. You know, Bacardi Bull will probably talk about those next year, sorry. And then we also are getting the Big Bubble Air Max 1 in the OG blue and white joints. I believe it's the Royal and White Joints Bland. Those are on the way as well. And we couldn't forget this pack, Bland. This is the City of Love SB pack. Now we got a darker colorway and a lighter colorway. And I believe there might be some removable uppers on one or both of these colorways that have some artwork underneath some of those panels. Listen, I'm definitely gonna be going for both, as will everyone else. I'm assuming these are gonna drop sometime in February. That don't make sense, Valentine's Day, but we just gotta wait and see. Another one for the 15th, we got the Cause Cloud Air Force One Blam. Of course, this one is dropping in two colorways, and these are dropping on Dover Street Market, New York. Now, the problem with this shoe is that it looks like a basic pair of forces with a vinyl little cause cloud. And that little cause cloud is gonna cost you $350 for the retail. Now, do I think that's gonna stop people from selling this shoe out? Nah, they, they still gonna go. $350 for these joints, and they just look like some regular forces, nothing special but the cloud. I get it, the cause, the artwork, I get it, yes. But $350, <sighs> I don't know about that. I'm not sure yet. And at the end of the day, I probably won't be able to cop anyways. So yeah, December 15th, Dover Street Market. Y'all let me know if y'all hit, okay? If y'all hit on anything, y'all let me know. Real quick, we also got a brand new colorway, Blam, in the 990 V6, the Skechers Shape Ups, New Balances, even though I, I have come around to liking this pair. And these right here are the Sepia or Sepia in orange colorway. Now these are dropping December 15th, and they are going to retail at 220. Y'all know how that NB retail is and I do like this shoe. I might not jump out the window for these. It's some other stuff dropping that's gonna take precedence over this pair. Up next, I told y'all we had another Year of the Dragon shoe, Blam. We got the Year of the Dragon KD4. 
but this time it's a little different. I wish they would have just did the original blue and orange ones, but they're switching up a bit. And these should be dropping sometime in February next year in 2024. Retail of 150 instead of, I believe OG retail was 95 for the KD4, but you know, inflation, all that. Okay, whatever. Nothing wrong with these at all, but out of all the KD4s that's supposed to drop, this one would probably be a pass for me. Next up, we got a brand new mod from Nike and Blam. Y'all see it. This is the Nike Lunar Rome. Now, these should be dropping on December 16th for a retail of 150 on Nike.com. And I do like this shoe. This would probably be a strictly cozy sweatpant gym vibe. You know, I need to get back in the gym, but gym vibe type shoe for me. Good, comfortable, cozy Nike runner. They straight, they straight. We're also gonna be getting an Air Jordan 6 Craft Paris next year in 2024. Now these should be inspired by the Olympic Games. Now there's a few different mock-ups of this shoe floating around. Just know it's on the way and whatever mock-up you see up on the screen right now, it could look like this, it might not look like this. It's a leak, it's a mock-up, it's a rumor, all that. But if it is a Craft Jordan 6, I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna retail at 225. We could also possibly be seeing a blam two pack of Sakai Vaporflies on the way slide bars. And these two colorways are inspired by the Nike Vaporfly and the OG 1983 Nike Pegasus. I'm gonna be honest, y'all know I like my Vaporflies. There's literally a pair that sits up there. These two colorways, to me, they not really moving me. But still another leak, another rumor could release, might not release, but next year, 2024, Maybe. Some breaking news, we actually got two new colorways of the Nike Air Terraformer, the off-white boot sneaker joints, whatever you want to call them. Blam, y'all see both of these. Now we got the Mantra Orange as well as the RKO Brown colorway. These are going to be dropping on the 21st. Both of these are going to be retailing at 210 and I like both colorways. I definitely like the orange one a little bit more. Now those RKO Brown is a brand new colorway and y'all know me, I, you know, it's, it's some weird shit. It's some bullshit, you know what I mean? I like both of these. I do still have both of the original colorways and I haven't worn either pair yet, but I just like them. They might get me for the orange ones, okay? You might get me for the orange and this time I might wait to see if, uh, hey, maybe we can catch these on sale, who knows? It's some weird shit, okay? You got me, all right? It's weird shit, it's off-white, it's Nike. Terraformers, 1221. We got a ton of 2024 Jordan Lees this week, trust me, blam. First one we got is these. This is the Red Taxi Air Jordan 12 and JB. Y'all doing everything in y'all power except just dropping some regular taxis. We got black taxis. We had the taxi with like the little gold tab. We got red taxis. We got everything but OG taxis. But I know, I know y'all gonna drop them at some point because we was crying about them cherries and y'all finally did them. So I know eventually we're gonna get the OG taxis, but for right now, we gonna get the, uh, you know, the alternates. <laughs> if you can tell, listen, it's, it's a pass. It's a pass for me. Next year, we're also gonna be getting some, some crazy colorways of Nike basketball. First up, let's go ahead and get into these. We got the Fruity Pebbles LeBron 4. One of those highly sought after LeBron drops and Nike is saying, listen, no retro is safe. The Fruity Pebbles are dropping. No exact release date just yet. Just know, next year, 2024. We also had a look at these joints, Blam via private selection, little early bird look right here, okay? And this is a brand new SB for next year in 2024. Now it's basically an all over, kind of reminds me of the Paisley Dunks, but this time it's like a rural look, an outdoorsy SB, the outdoors SB. Brown with like this faded out blue. You know, it's a leak, it's early, could drop, might not drop. We just gonna have to wait. Blam, they exist. And that's all I got. Another JB leak, we got Blam, this gray blue Air Jordan 13. Again, dropping next year in 2024. I'm assuming retail price on these is gonna be 210 and no exact release date just yet. It's just a, you know, it's a clean colorway of the 13. But in my opinion, if the wheats is sitting, you know, these, they gonna sit. That ain't a bad thing. Listen, appreciate shoes sitting while they sit. All right, I see a lot of people talking that brick talk, brick, 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 okay. Build your houses of bricks, cool, but when these joints start getting limited again, all right, we've seen this happen already. We've seen when Jordans were sitting, then they started making it limited, and you know, people start crying about it, okay? Listen, just enjoy this time. Enjoy the time where you can walk in, see every Jordan release, and take your pick, and maybe even get them on sale. That was a quick side note, okay? Just, just enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts. Another quick one for 2024, we got Blam, the Venice Beach Kobe 8 Pro Troll. These are returning. What do I need to say? These is gone, bruh. They are selling out. The more Jordan 1, September of 2024, blam. We should be getting these right here. This is a mock-up rumor leak, all that good stuff. Midnight Navy 
Air Jordan 1 High. If they look just like this mock-up, this is a cop. It's a cop. I feel like you just can't miss with Chicago type color blocking, just like them yellow ochre ones. You know what I mean? Listen, early heat vid on. Okay, let's, it's it's on the way. Blam, we got the cement gray Air Jordan 3. Should be dropping next year in August. And I'm not mad at this colorway, okay? This is this is better. We're getting a little bit better. This is another one. If they look like this mock-up, you know, it's pretty high probability that I will be copping this pair. And it ain't much else to say about that. I mean, these, they looking good. We also might be getting a white and black Air Jordan 5 blam. Go ahead and say it. Just say Panda. Go ahead. I know you want to say it. The Panda 5s, the reverse Panda 5s. Go ahead, all right? That's, that's your pass. Go ahead. Type it in the comments. I'll let you do your thing. This is another one slated for 2024 and another not bad colorway. Not as good as the Midnight Navy 1s or those Smith Grade 3s, but better another pair of ones we have the her heritage air jordan one and it is kind of like an obsidian or a unc jordan one this mock-up is not bad colorway does not look bad but again this should be a women's exclusive release so small feet gang y'all let me know what y'all think about these now release for this week i'm pretty sure these might have already dropped but we have the airship and real tree now y'all know me i love my real tree camel pants they be in every all feet review because you need that camel pant look and I like these airships. I'm pretty sure the retail is gonna be 150 on these, but with that camo, it's either you love it or you hate it, but the camo with the brown hits, you already know somebody throwing orange laces in these. This is gonna happen. Another Kobe Pro Show release for next year. We're getting the Kobe 6 Italian camos. They're gonna be on their way back for 2024, and uh, we know what these are gonna do. Do I even need to say it? Now this one popped up, and uh, if they drop just like this mock-up, they're gonna have the streets in a frenzy. I already know it. Blam, we have a white thunder Jordan 4, AKA, again, go ahead, say the Panda 4s, I'm gonna let you do it. Black and white 4s, all right? This is the most easy sellout JB could do. But remember, it is a mock-up, it is a leak, it is a rumor, could look a little bit different, but if it's white thunder, then you just go ahead and do it just like this, all right? This, this'll this work, it's fine, it'll work. Also wanted to throw up this quick picture because this is what it should look like. You know, it's, a, it's an early pair out of nowhere, okay? Blam, this is the cut to check Jordan 1 or Travis Scott 1. The Travis Scott Jordan shoe, his SIG, that's gonna be on the way. But since we have better pictures of what they should look like, y'all let me know what y'all thinking about these. Y'all know me, I'm gonna definitely try to cop a pair because I wanna try them out. Okay, this week I got the four pack of ass for you, okay? Four precious pieces of Basuda for you. First up, blam, Somebody did we this. have Nike back with another mule. This is the Nike Air Force One Lover. You know, they just took the classic Air Force One, took the whole ass off, bro. They kind of took the whole lower body off these joints and you got a mule pair of forces. The colorway on these ones is earth. They're all over brown. Might as well just call them, you know, the POS uh, Air Force One. <laughs> and listen, Bacardi Bull might have to talk about them, okay? I'm gonna leave it at that for these. Next up, we got the big black boot, the Triple B, but it's not for mischief, okay? We Mischief, we'll talk about you later. Listen, blam, Somebody we have this. the Air Jordan 1 Brooklyn. I honestly don't know, <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing with these, dog? I, you stomping for real. You was a real stepper in these joints right here. They took the ones, made a big ankle collar, put the big chunky sole on them, and just said, yo, here you go. And they retail at 165. I look and they sit in every colorway. So if you do like these, it is a small feet gang shoe. So loose to you, you might be able to wait. These could be an outlet special or some, some holiday savings with some percentages off. Listen, do you, do you. But I am not buying my girl a pair of these at all. No, no. We got another shoe turned into a boot. Some land. The Converse Chuck 70 Deluxe Wedge. And yes, you can take that clown boot looking thing i don't know these the these the it joints these the, the it fours the it fours for sure if you see anyone wearing these be looking out for a red balloon floating around if you see that run okay get away retail on these was 160 and i'm pretty sure these are available right now but you really don't need that info because you not copping these shits. and how could we forget yeezy Yay is back in the building. I'm wondering, are, are they dropping vultures tonight or what? Because if they are, I need to be live on Twitch. But I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for the album. What I'm really not waiting on is these shits right here. Okay. Blam! This game. is the Burger Yeezy game. Pod Sock shoe, which is basically a collapsible sneaker or collapsible piece of footwear. Now these did pop up, and the retail on them was one hundred dollars. 
Now the reports are saying they should have been 200 and you could not order them before. What in the scuba Steve, the scuba yay is going on with these right here? Y'all be telling me to cop Basuda all the time. Listen, for y'all, I'm gonna try to be on it, okay? I'm gonna try to cop a pair and drop a review on these shits right here. But for now, can we just go ahead, can we get these shits off my screen? Okay, thank you. Let me get back to the heat, bro. First up, we got these right here, Blam, the Gallery Department Asics. I already know y'all seeing the memes about these. The price is up, all right? These joints is up. And the last drop is gonna be on December 15th. Now the retail for these is hefty at 295 for sure. You getting that gallery tax on these. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I'll pay the retail 295. I'll pay the gallery tax to get them, but a dime over that, yeah, it's just not happening. Some of the prices I see for these A6 have been completely insane. Thousands over a rack. You're not getting me for that. But if you do want this shoe, good luck. December 15th is when they're dropping. 295 is the retail, and they're probably gonna be dropping on ASICs.com. And if you get your head cracked past the white meat for them, you know, salutes. I'm hoping and praying for your speedy recovery, okay? We also got the Nike sneakers drop for the Mikasa and Sukasa joints, okay? The Soulfly Air Jordan 8s, these are gonna be dropping on December 16th. Pretty sure retail is like 225, cause it definitely ain't 210, not for a collab. And these ones, I will be going for. I missed them before. I will try on Nike sneakers and I'll let y'all know how that go. There's been a lot of talk about this next release, Blam. Yes, we have the Cactus Jack. Mac attacks, all right, those joints. The ones that everybody said was trash, they not copping, and now people got bids on them for over $400 on StockX. I seen a pair sell for 700. Listen, once they went, they went. But they are dropping on Nike sneakers on the 19th. Now, if you want my thoughts on the whole rollout, it was obvious from the beginning that, you know, no one that is in a Nike Zoom call like that is gonna leak that, there's no way. And we've been having a little back and forth between Trav and John, and listen, I kinda thought it was corny at first, but when you look at it through the lens up, they probably thought you was gonna pick up on this because all the blogs are posted at the same time. It ain't horrible. It's not the worst rollout ever, okay? I will be going for this shoe. Yes, I will for 120. I'll be trying to cop these. Paying over retail is not gonna happen because I got my OGs and my OGs is just as good, maybe if not better. Y'all was talking shit, but I see people buying and trying to spend money on them. So, you know, I, I'm. I'm I'ma be quiet, all right? I'ma be quiet. We also got the Powerpuff Girl SBs dropping. Y'all know my thoughts on these. These were S tier for this month of December, and I will be going for all three pairs. I've been seeing that the prices have been plummeting on these shoes. They just been dropping. And you know, as soon as people get them confirmations on Nike sneakers, the price is gonna still drop a little bit more, depending on how limited they are. Now, if they just sell out and there's not a lot of pairs of people to try to drop and undercut each other, they could shoot up a little bit, but you know, I'll be on there. I'm gonna be waiting to see. We also got another Trophy Room Jordan 1 on the way. Blam, y'all see him right here. Now, these are more than likely gonna be an All-Star Weekend release or an All-Star February release for next year in 2024. Got some red satin on it. You know, the materials look nice. I'm not super pressed for these. The high top is definitely better in my opinion, but these, they nice. For retail, I definitely go for a pair. As far as resale goes, you know, I'm not gonna sweat them on that tip. And now y'all know I can't leave this next one out. Bland, we got the Military Blue Force dropping next year. We got more leaked images of what the shoe should look like. This is an early image, all that, you know, you know. Anyways, you see it, okay? Military Blues dropping next year. These joints gonna definitely be going, and then they should be having the same shape as the SB Air Jordan 4, so, I mean, it's, it's automatic cop. And I've been seeing the date jump around on these. I've been seeing March, uh, May, of course, February for All-Star. I don't really think anybody knows just yet. As always, y'all let me know down below. Did y'all cop anything this week? Did y'all hit on any raffles? Are you going for anything? Make sure you drop a like on this bitch. Sub up if you haven't already and finesse the bell as well. New sample drop Saturday, December 23rd. OG Flannels is back. Perfect timing for these and that's it, man. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Much love. Peace. Had to get that fatty up. Yeah, yeah. my truck. Mm, yeah.